Hi everyone, this is Paris de Bono of the Fortune Teller Shop and I'm going to do some, um, some uh, short reading lessons. Okay, this is my Fortune Teller deck that I've designed. This is a Lenormand deck. Okay, so when you're looking for a Lenormand deck, fortune telling deck, you want to see three main things. First of all, you want to see a clear image of what it is and inserts, which is the playing cards, and a clear number. Okay, that's what I look for when I'm looking for a Lenormand deck. So, for example, we have flowers, clear, we know what it is, we can see it, clear number, and then the playing card insert. Okay, so you always want to have a nice, clear, simple image. So, image, number, insert. Okay. Um, so this, this deck's available for, uh, from me if you want to buy it as well, just let me know. Now, I, one of my students, I've asked my students about subjects for, it, for these readings. And um, usually we focus on Hollywood stars, but they're kind of a bit boring at the moment. So uh, one of my students is really into makeup. And she's asked me about uh, two makeup, two people in the makeup industry. Um, I don't really know these people, so um, we're just going to go with whatever the cards want to tell me. But basically, my student wanted to know about uh, Jeffrey Star, which I've done a video on him before, and another a guy called Manny M Manny Mu Manny M U A. Okay, Mu. So she wants to know my my student wants to know how these two people feel about each other. Are they friends or or not? And uh, uh, if they're not, will they become friends again? Because I think they were friends before. So what I'm going to do is I'll start with Jeffrey first. I'll just pull out five random cards. And then I'll... So that will be how Jeffrey feels about Manny. And another five would be about how Manny feels about Jeffrey. I'll pull that one out. Uh, let's see. So if you don't know who these people are, it doesn't really matter because we're going to read the cards anyway. Okay, so the first card, the ship. Well, ship usually means travel. So um, someone who's busy, someone who's traveling, someone who's moving around. So this is uh, Jeff. Uh, this is Jeffrey. Yep. Yeah. Yeah, definitely lots of moving. So we've got two cards of moving or travel now. So it shows uh, Jeffrey's on the move. He might be moving around, traveling. Uh, yeah, beauty, beauty industry. Okay, the flowers represents beautiful things, beautiful products, gifts, that kind of thing. Key, opening up, new doors. And, oh, Lily, beautiful. Okay, well, Jeffrey's just got great cards. So I think whatever Jeffrey's doing, he's not really bothered about this. He's just busy traveling, on the move, Beautiful products, opening up beautiful products. Lil Lily can be beauty as well. Lily's also about healing, but that's really not talking about Manny at all. He's just busy doing his own thing. Now let's look at Manny. Manny Tower. Tower, Tower can mean two things. It can often mean a company, but it can also mean uh, distant, like a standing alone. So maybe feels isolated. Uh, son, he's focusing on his own success, perhaps working on his own company. Uh, the fish, money, M fish is money. So he's focusing on his success, his company's success and making money, I would think. Uh, the snake, well, there's lots of s snaky people in the industry and the dog. So I think with Manny, he's got to be more careful of friends who are false friends. Okay, I don't think this is talking about Jeffrey either. I think Manny's focusing on his success, his money, and his own business. Probably with the tower, it means he just wants to be away from this stuff with uh, Jeffrey. And the only negative card we have here is the snake. Snake usually represents a female a woman, so if we notice the insert there. Um, and the dog. So I think Manny is needing to be careful of his friends and who his real friends are. Okay, because this one shows false friend. 
Okay, yeah, I think they're actually kind of a bit neutral on each other, actually. I think they've decided to leave each other alone or not, not to uh, interact too much with each other by the looks of this spread. Doesn't seem to uh, be focusing on each other. Okay, so I would say that um, they're busy doing their own thing. Okay, this is Paris de Bono of the Fortune Teller Shop in Sydney.